Well, millennials love their mom and dad's basement. I'm Carly Robinson in Edmonton, and it's getting harder and harder for young adults to find a place to live away from their parents because of financial burdens. But what's that doing to mom and dad's bottom line? Well, I met one researcher who's looking to find out. I think like 24-ish, around 23 to 25. University is kind of as soon as you're done university, and if not, maybe about 21, 22. Um, in my opinion, it's just before you move 18, uh, become 18, because I'm from the UK, and that's when you go to university. When you get married around... Uh, 23, 24, 25. Everyone has their own idea of the perfect age to move out, but life doesn't always work that way. Enough projects showed, well, okay, this actually spreads to their parents. Researcher Michelle Morado has been crunching the numbers, looking at what impact adults living with mom and dad have on their parents' finances. As when we look at these families over time, we see that when the adult children are living at home, families have about 24% less in financial assets and savings than they do when their adult children are living elsewhere. And as more adults live at home, what does this mean? Adults are living at home for longer, and they're also more likely to move back than they have since about the 1980s. Or now, Alberta has one of the lowest populations of young adults living at home at about 31% of 20 to 29-year-olds reporting they did so in 2011. Quebec is also on the low end with 37%. Now, Manitoba and BC come in with a 40% of young adults living at home, and Ontario has has the highest number with about 50. But Toronto, they take the cake with 60% of young adults still living with mom and dad. Great as it once was when, say, your parents went out there, you have more insecure households. And this is definitely affecting young adults. And what I've seen is that, okay, it's also affecting their parents. Showing that tough economic times for millennials may be spreading past their generation. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.